So it varies by geography, obviously, which country you're, um, you're talking about. So China is obviously a rising language. And if you were to go to um, Japan, uh, you'd find that China is the second most important language being studied after English. Here in the United States, not surprisingly, it's a lot about Spanish, uh, especially Latin American Spanish. And, uh, and yet, at the same time, there are also other languages that are becoming increasingly popular that aren't studied so much in school, like Italian. Um, we just released uh, Irish Gaelic. Um, and um, some of those languages are either related to aspirations of travel or actual need to travel to a country, um, very often uh, on vacation or for fun. Uh, but also there are uh, there's a sort of increased interest in uh, uh, people's heritage. I think as we become more of a blue jeans, uh, white t-shirt kind of society where we all uh, kind of blend in in this modern world, um, we're also kind of longing for, for some sort of tie back to, to our own identity and, and f where we come from. And many people are, are next generation and therefore curious about that. And also, of course, we, um, um, you know, we 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 see a lot of uh, increased interest in languages like Arabic, and Chinese, and Russian, where obviously those languages are are spoken in countries that have tremendous economic growth and and vitality these days. So sometimes people wonder about why it's so important to study foreign languages when so many people speak English. I think that um, to truly engage with a culture, you should speak in a, a, a foreign language. Because um, as you do that, you, you essentially go through some sort of cultural journey, and you discover something about another culture. And um, I think that's important for your own personal self-development. But it's also, I think, uh, important in showing respect for other cultures. And uh, I, from my experience, when I've been to, I, you know, I speak some languages, but not all languages by any means. So when I go to a culture and I don't know that much about the language, showing that you've, you're interested and in having a few phrases makes all the difference in the world. And yes, you very often uh, speak English. Many of us have sat in uh, social environments in different countries and you know, felt somewhat out of place uh, when uh, they suddenly turn to Italian and we're sitting there and, and, and can't really engage and be part of the conversation. So in terms of uh, what the most important languages are for uh, Americans, I would say, um, obviously Spanish is important because uh, there are many people here in the United States that speak Spanish first or grow up um, speaking Spanish. Uh, but I would say beyond Spanish, um, I would actually uh, urge people to pick something out of the ordinary. Um, so, you, you know, if everyone is studying Spanish, uh, you can find uh, that you develop an edge by maybe learning Japanese or Korean or, or, or some other language that's maybe um, n not taught as much. And um, it's also very interesting to discover a, a whole culture through your own uh, exploration like that. So I'd say, you know, uh, look at, you know, world economic trends. If we all rush and learn Chinese, and so the only two languages we, people speak are English and Chinese, that's not very smart. And at the same time, if, um, if we're only learning Spanish, um, there won't be that much uh, differentiation because the biggest trading partners of the United States will not necessarily be spa uh, Spanish speaking. And global trade is developing um, a lot with Asia and other countries. But, you know, I think it's, it's, it's really uh, up to each person to discover what they're passionate about. I often find that. Um, you know, when, when we, we are um, talking to customers and we say, hey, why don't you learn a language? Um, it's a redundant conversation if we don't have the language that they're interested in. People have a reason for learning 
Hungarian or Hebrew or Irish or whatever language. There's a very deep emotional tie that they've already established with that language. So it's not so much as, you know, sitting and, and thinking, you know, what what language should I be learning for many people? It's, it's what do I find interesting? And what do I have some sort of cultural connection? Where do, uh, which language do I want to learn? I mean, it's in a way, it's a, it's a moment of self-expression. You can sort of show your colors and show what, what you're about.